Hey guys, can you believe it? It is that time of the year again. It is new planner season and I'm here for it. Once again, I have the pleasure of sharing with you some of the new goodies that are coming to Erin Condren on launch day for 2024, which will be on April 15th. Make sure that you're marking your calendars because that is the day. Specifically, that is D-Day for EC Insiders. It's a free rewards program that you can sign up and you get early access. General sales will be on April 16th. I've been sharing a few sneak peeks and a little bit more insight as to the items that I was sent to share with you in preparation for launch day to help you make a decision. But as always, it never gets easier. It just gets a little bit more confusing but I hope that this video along with the videos of other affiliates that you may have been watching can help you to make the decision for what you'll be ordering on launch day if that's something that you're choosing to do. Now one thing to remember is don't feel also the pressure of having to make a decision by Monday the 15th. You certainly have until July because that's when the planners actually start at the end of June July in order to buy your new planner for the new year if you you're starting it in the academic year which is July through June of 2025 or you can also you know wait until the end of the year to purchase your planner if you're more of a calendar year person which will start in January of 2025. I will say that there are some perks to buying on launch day and that is that you get typically a free gift with purchase which is only available for a limited time. There's a limited number of supplies for that so that can only happen on launch day. So that's where I'll be on Monday so hopefully you'll join me. If you decide to join me make sure that you click the links in the description down below to explore or make your purchase because I truly appreciate it helps me create content for you and just share all the goodness all right so let's talk planners what do I have to show you today and that is the Erin Condren daily duo in the canvas design this year there is going to be three new design canvas which is new ish is not totally new that is for the neutral lovers those folks that maybe just like you know pretty simple not really that much color because it gives you some flexibility to add well however much color you like or not if that's something that you're into or not i went with the neutral canvas this year because i'm thinking i might use it for work so i wanted it to be something a little bit more flexible but i'm not sure because the more i look at the designs the more i fall in love with the evolved design which is the colorful one and that's the one that i've always kind of gone with my life really revolves around those gem tone colors and it's kind of hard to walk away so I'm still not completely decided on what design I'm gonna go for this year but I'm definitely going with the daily duo and I'm so excited to dive a little bit deeper into this one because the updates that have taken place with this planner are incredible i love them it, they're long time coming for a lot of people and based on customer feedback which is something that ec is so great at they have made these updates but before we go into the details of the planner and these updates and what i'm excited to share with you also wanted to share in case you are new to the erin condren brand there is additional matching accessories that get launched with these planners to take you through the entire year so canvas will have its corresponding accessories evolve and blooms will also have corresponding accessories that you can pick and choose from and a lot of the designs also kind of mix and match um, as well they go well together so if there is a particular accessory that you like it to be a little more simple a lot of times goes very well with something that's a little more bright and cheery if you are not familiar with the erin condren planners and the brand it's the brand is known for being highly customizable so with these planners you can customize the color of your coil i chose the gold one but there's also platinum there's a new sunrise which is a different color coil like an ombre type of coil with some rainbow colors uh, and there's also a rose gold so you can customize your coil the covers are interchangeable so 
they can be taken out and put back in and they're also personalized so i chose to put my name here but you can certainly customize it however you want and there is tons of different cover options to choose from each life planner purchase comes with this little packet which includes a few complement cards so about three complement cards and two coupons that you can use for yourself or share with a friend for 20 percent off a future purchase the coupons typically last about a year so this one for example will expire in march 31st of next year 25 However, the ones from last year are good until I believe it's April 20th of 2024. So if you have made purchases from Erin Condren this year, I would highly encourage you to dig out some coupons because they will still be good for launch day. But you only have like five days because launch day is on the 15th and then they would expire on the 20th. So definitely check those coupons out. The first page of every life planner is a vellum page and the vellum page will be a different design depending on the design that you picked. Since I have the canvas, is this pretty, straightforward vellum page with the asterisk design as mentioned this is the daily duo planner which is six months worth of planning in each book so with the daily duo you get two books so this would be my second book which has a matching cover in the same design the second cover is not personalized you can certainly add additional cover options if you like that are more personalized if you want a different cover if you want an extras etc so this first half goes from july through december and then the second half will be from january through june of 2025 the daily layout that we're going to be walking through in this planner is actually the same layout that it is included in all of the other daily planners so for example if you purchase a daily layout for an a5 ring agenda it will be the exact same layout except that it would be compacted or a little bit more uh, compressed uh, because it is a smaller size page. The one that I have is a seven by nine. For a 12 month planner, such as the standard weekly seven by nine or the st standard weekly planner, you would have two sheets of these what we call like the 12 boxes or gold boxes or however you want to uh, refer to them. They're pretty much open for anything that you might want to track. There's typically two sheets, but because this is only a six months planner, you have half the sheet. So you have six boxes that you can repurpose however you like. Oftentimes I use it for goal setting or you can use it for zone cleaning if you want to track that or uh, finances if you want to do that as well it has so many options to use it for this following page it gives you half the year at a glance so from july through december which is the length of this book you can see the six months at a glance and it's great for future planning if you like or if you want to keep track of paydays sinking funds so many different options this sheet has and then here you also have a year at a glance for the following year which would be 2025. This page brings us to the first month of the in the in the book, which is July. And as you can see, because it's the neutral option, all of my tabs are gray. Depending on which colorway you choose, the tabs will correspond with that colorway. So we move right into the month at a glance. So here we have pretty clean, straightforward month. I absolutely love it. Now I'm really torn to which one I want because I love the flexibility of having a neutral layout, but I also do love the gem tone color. So I'm still debating, it's gonna be tough, but I really love this blank slate. I love that this part right here, it's not shaded. There's really no color, so it gives you so much, so many options. So here's your month at a glance and it includes some holidays. And this is one of the biggest changes for this book this year. It is this dashboard. I personally never thought of moving it to the other side, but looks like many of the Erin Condren customers have provided that feedback. And one of the great things that I love about Erin Condren is how much they listen to customer feedback. So this page was originally on this side and then you would have a line page on the other side, but now it's flipped. And I think this makes so much sense. So I'm so glad that somebody did think of this and provided that feedback to the company, multiple of you actually, because it makes so much sense. So it kind of gives you like that first month at a glance in, term, in terms of like if you use this for goal setting or some sort of vision board i think it's ideal 
right after you flip from their monthly view goes into here and then you have your notes for other things that may correspond to this page that you might want to add to expand on what your goals are why didn't i think of this but it's brilliant and i love that following those pages you have another notes page definitely a lot of room and then you'll notice that there is an additional layout to this planner that was not here before i am so thrilled this is what truly makes this book kind of like an all-in-one for me is because of this extra page and this is this weekly uh, dashboard it is undated i wish i do wish that this was dated if because the whole book is dated so may as well date the the sheets but i get it it would be a lot of work to um to date the sheets and make sure that they're corresponding correctly and it just kind of opens it up to more errors if you are undertaking something like this but i would have preferred for it to have been dated it's still a great option here because now you have a weekly overview high level overview of your week and you can see exactly what those main things are in a little bit more detail that you might have carried over from your monthly view. What I have done in the past, if you have been watching my content for a while, is that I would combine planners to have a true kind of all-in-one planner. I would combine a, a weekly, I would have a monthly, weekly, and daily, but I'd have to like take planners apart, put them together, and that was getting to be a bit too much. So I was making my daily dual work, but with this, option is going to be even better. So the days of Franken planning are over for me. So you have four very faint uh, checklist circles here. So four lines for to do's and then you have an open space here for any appointments or anything that you have going on on this day or this week rather. And then it jumps right into the daily view. So lots of changes in this planner overall. And one additional change is that the monthly calendar is now gone. I have heard for a long time the feedback that EC has received on this layout, which was to remove the daily calendar, which was housed here at the top. And here is actually one of my favorite layouts that I have done recently in my current daily duo. And you can see the mini month up here. I personally didn't mind the mini month as much as other people. Actually, since I have only really solely been using this book, I found myself referencing it, but I'm good either way. I can live without it. I can live with it. Um, I really, I'm not partial to it at all. The one thing that I do wish that they would have done with this layout is to extend the to-do list. So if we're not going to have the mini month is to give me a few more to-do lines to work with because I don't need all this white space. It's always blank for me or I would extend my to-do list further down. So again, just showing you this example of this one that I worked on recently, you can see I have, I kind of break it down. So I have goals, priorities, and I write some reminders here and I just extend it further down. I'm not saying get rid of all the white space altogether, no, but um, definitely I don't need this much white space. So you have 13 to-do lines here to work with but you can also like I just mentioned extend it further down and then the daily still goes from 6 a.m to 7 p.m which works for me so at the end of the week it brings you to an extra basically notes page so in the previous version you would have this page and then it would jump right into the new week however now you have double-sided extra notes pages which gives you so much more flexibility I love that and then it jumps into the weekly overview for the current week and then the daily view for the following week. Once you're at the last day of the month, you have an extra notes page, which in the colorful version corresponds to the monthly color. So let's say in the gem tones color, August is a yellow color. This little asterisk up here would be yellow. So it kind of corresponds to this one, but you can use it however you'd want to, of course. At the end of this book, you have an additional notes pages, which the title notes, and then you have this sort of half page for additional notes kind of carrying over from this one and some additional holidays for the year that you can use to reference. At the end of each book, you get a few pages of stickers and you can also purchase Life Planner pack of stickers separately if you needed additional ones. So this is what this year's look like, very similar to previous years, but I did notice the font has changed and these are beautifully foiled definitely very functional. And because this is the canvas, more of the neutral color, the 
colors are more muted in this color colorway or color scheme. And then these are some appointment labels with the silver foiling. If it's a weekly planner, you have one pocket and in the Daily Duo, each book gets one dual sided pocket in the corresponding colorway for the design. Also, this is the second book and in one of the books, you'll have a perpetual calendar, which is helpful for future planning. This one really hasn't changed much over the years. The only thing that has changed has been the color scheme. It's super helpful for for future planning because it's not dated. So you can use it to write down birthdays, anniversaries, or anything that is recurring every year that you can reference each time you're going to set up your planner. The other two books that I'm going to be sharing with you is the monthly planner and the productivity petite journal. So in addition to the traditional seven by nine books that get released, as well as the A5 books, you get a few options for the petite system. So the petite system is a more portable system that Erin Condren carries as well. And typically the planners for those don't get released until September, but there are a few different options that get released at this time of year. This is the Evolve monthly planner. So this monthly planner typically only comes in one colorway. So in this, this year will be Evolve, which is sort of like the primary design for EC and it is the petite size. So this is more of closer to an A5. It's not quite A5, but it's closer to that size. The layout is very similar to years past. So you have a year at a glance from July through December, and then you have each month back to back. So you'll have July, August, September, October and so on. And it actually goes through December of 2025. After all of the months are together, then you have extra blank note pages that you can use to reference or write down notes and information. And then you have a sticker sheet with a pocket that you can use to decorate your planner if you would like. And now this one is the Evolve Productivity Petite Journal. So it has a more structured layout and each of the pages changes colors in more of the traditional colorway. And you have a section here that's pretty open, a checklist section, and then this sort of productivity layout with a checklist. So that's pretty much the layout consistently throughout the entire journal. This one does not have a pocket or additional sticker, so it's just a pretty straightforward little notebook that you can take on the go with you or add it to your petite system. So now that we talked through the main planners, let me walk you through a lot of the accessories that are going to be releasing this year and I'm super excited for one particular accessory and actually all of them but this one in particular if you know me you know that I love to use this tool every single one of my planners and in my plans with me every single day and I'm so excited that Erin Condren has finally released an updated stencil fits right in your planner whether you have an A5 ring agenda or if you have a 7x9 a planner or a coil planner rather this will Will be your kind of go-to if you really like neat lines, perfect squares, that sort of thing. This is right up your alley. In the past, you had a ruler that came attached with every life planner purchase. And now this ruler has become not only a ruler, but also a stencil that fits so many of the different layouts. So I spent some time playing around with this new tool. And as you can see, it fits a number of different layouts. A portion of the stencil fits the vertical planner, and then the other one fits the hourly planner. So depending on which one you have, you'll probably find a fit for you. And then you also have all of these different components to help you plan a little bit more neatly. If that's something that you appreciate in your planner, like I do certainly use it so many different ways. I'm happy to share some ideas of how I use stencils and how I've kind of made it even more functional than just like the typical layout that you see with the stencil. You can get really creative with it. And what I love about it is that it just, it comes with the planner 
planner so it's kind of like a little bonus add-on that every single planner will get including if you pick an a5 ring agenda there would be one that is specifically punched for the ring agenda rings another new item is this folio which will fit your seven by nine planner it has some pockets here and some extra spot to put additional pages or you can fit a notepad like a medium-sized notepad in here really nicely all right so i've placed my planner in here in this folio to show you what it looks like it can fit a planner that's about the size of an 18 month planner like a weekly one or it would fit a six month daily jewel i love this opening and this is actually an updated feature of the a5 ring agenda you can include the medium sized uh, notepad this is the focused version of the productivity i'm sorry of the project planning notepad that fits perfectly here and this one also has a pen loop this is the peacock color but there are some additional colors there's a fuchsia as well as the wisteria color which is kind of like this purplish purplish pinkish color as well to choose from and the ring agenda will come in other colors as well this one is not a new item to the ec lineup but it is updated with this year's new design. And this is the Planny Pack. So it has a pocket in the front. It has space for you to put in pens and other accessories. I love this interior color. This fuchsia color is so pretty. And it comes in different designs. And then it also has this band. This is meant to fit over your cover of your planner so we're moving on to dashboards there are some new updates to the dashboard and there are some reinvented uh dashboards as well we'll start with the snap-in bookmark this one is the canvas colorway so it has just a very simple metallic asterisk and gold silver and rose gold and as you can see these are punched specifically for the coil so you can use these to mark your spot anywhere that you like in your in your planner this next one is the universal snap-in weekly dashboard on one side you have priorities and to do's and on this side you have a sort of a weekly overview you can use a wet erase or dry erase marker or even a permanent marker on these and then just remove them with a wipe alcohol windex it actually works well so it gives you uh, another way to use it as a bookmark and to view information at a glance. These are the reimagined Snap-in Pocket Dashboard. Now, these are not necessarily new. These were released last year, if I'm not mistaken. And to be honest, this is actually not one of my favorite products from EC. I thought that it was, but I did get them last year and I found myself not using them very much. One, because it will definitely add more bulk to your planner. So that's one thing. Two, these are very hard to snap in. They're not as flexible as a cover. I think they're thicker. And then you really only have room for like one sheet. So how I've used it in the past, how I've tried to use it in the past, is I would put a sheet about this size, so a sheet from a notepad, and then I would use like a dry erase on top of it to, you know, mark things off, but you, you can't really fit much in here. So I, I personally don't really, don't care for these that much, but maybe some people do. If you do, you know, let me know in the comments how you use them, um, but yeah, I'm not not partial to these looks like these come in different colors this year last year these were clear i think this answers part of the question so this one is a new one it's a notepad pocket dashboard so it doesn't have the tabs up at the top like the other ones that i just showed you but it does have the same sort of pocket so maybe those other ones are meant to be used like this as well although it doesn't say notepad dashboard so these two products are a little confusing to me however i do like this functionality so basically what you can do is you can take a notepad like this to do and then just put it right in here. So I'm grabbing this project planning notepad and we're going to put it in and ideally a medium sized notepad because there are different sizes at EC would probably be your best bet or anything smaller. And this is how you can use this one. So you have now notepads on both sides and it also snaps in just like I showed you earlier. 
but of course this is going to add a lot more bulk to your planner so it would be good for like a notebook if you wanted to add that there just showing you the differences on how these two are labeled so this one specifically labeled notepad pocket dashboard so it is intended for a notepad this one is just says nap in snap in pocket dashboard and based on this little opening here this little curve i'm thinking it's intended for you to fill in um, information although you can probably use it for a notepad but these are just the the differences between these two let's talk stickers starting with the canvas sticker pack so these are the additional stickers that you can purchase separately that match the stickers that come in the back of the planner again depending on which design you pick your stickers will correspond with that there is also a matching designer sticker book that will correspond with the theme as well so this is the canvas sticker book and you can find lots of functional additional stickers to help you decorate your days and there is a variety of sticker paper um, materials so for example these are all matte colors and these are clear i love these little circles, these are perfect for like your year at a glance and tracking paydays and holidays, vacations. And then you have some additional boxes, functional boxes, this sort of arch shape, some functional labels like vacation, weekend, and icons and many different metallic options like rose gold, silver, gold, some washi, and foiled beautifully foiled and appointment boxes there's also a set of matching sticky notes it's specifically meant to go in the coiled planner but if you order an a5 ring agenda it will be punched for the agenda so i love having sticky notes that correspond to my planner design because i can use them for future planning or a quick note and it can just snap right into the planner so i always love the functionality of these and i've had so many i've ordered so many over the years next up we have some washi tape so these are the new washi tape designs for the canvas collection the other ones look absolutely stunning too so if you like more muted more simple washi to decorate your pages definitely a great set and the washi is really great quality very sticky and kind of like that translucent washi tape. Next, we'll talk about writing tools that are launching this season. These are the metallic markers. There's an eight pack of metallic markers. To save some time, I did a little bit of a test here already. So it shows you all of the different colors. And I also showed a closer look to these in over on my Instagram. So I did a little swatching over there. So if you wanna take a look, the verdict on these markers is that there is a little bit of shadowing. Like you can see that there's something written on the other side. However, However, there is really no bleed through at all which is pretty impressive considering how pigmented they are the other thing that i've been loving that ec has incorporated in their writing tools is to include the colors because they're naming how they name their colors and the colors themselves are not like your traditional pink or purple etc it was always really hard to remember which color was which and this one is they're now included here so like this one's peony so you can um you don't have to remember what color it is or like this one over here is the wisteria color so you have it labeled right there so I think that's a great update to help customers know exactly what they have. These are probably my favorite. These are the dual tip highlighter in the canvas colorway. I love how soft these colors are. So you can see you have a total of six colors with the rose pink, the sand, the harbor. They are so complimentary and just so aesthetic looking. I love them on the paper. And then I love them obviously here as you're looking at them, but these are great. Minimal shadowing on this one and don't let this one throw you off. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see some bleed through. That bleed through is not from these markers. It's actually from the metallic markers being on the other side, on the other page. And it just kind of, I didn't let it dry enough and I guess I rubbed onto the page, but you can see around it, like this is the dual tip highlighters. They're not really, there's no bleed through at all. And then the last writing tool is the signature pen 
that it's usually released with every design. So this one is the Evolve pen. There is also a Bloom pen. And this one makes a great gift because it comes in such a pretty presentation. It's kind of like a, a gel, gel sort of rollerball pen. So I love how like heavy it is. It's a great quality pen, but it does, you know, kind of, it's not very consistent, the ink. And I know I just started writing with this, so maybe I have to like keep practicing with it. Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. But you'll kind of get that from these sort of gel pens, but nonetheless, very pretty and it matches the planner. And just to show you, this is the back of the page. There's really no bleed through. Works so well in this paper. Also, now that I'm talking about the paper, in case you are new to the brand, um, this paper is an 80 pound Mohawk paper. So it's very absorbent and it can handle a lot of ink. All right, you guys. So that was my walkthrough of the planner and some of the accessories that we'll be launching on Monday. And I also mentioned the perk of purchasing on Monday the 15th or on launch day is that you do get the free gift with purchase. So one of those free gifts with purchase is a sampler pack. So the sampler pack allows you to kind of test out the different layouts. I do wish that this was something that had been available before um, in maybe a previous event or a previous sale or just as a previous option so that you would have it for launch day but it's also great if you're for example purchasing a planner you want to try it out and maybe next year you want to try something different or if you're buying a planner for somebody else and you want to test out some planners for yourself that maybe it's a better option so this sample pack includes a week for each of these dates so from april 29th through may 5th, from May 6th to May 12th, from May 13th through 19th, and so on, all the way until June 24th through June 30th, which would be the last week of the previous academic year planner before we move into our new planners. So each week has a different design. First one is the Evolve Vertical Design. So this is the traditional vertical planner. When Erin Condren first, uh, when I first encountered Erin Condren, this was pretty much the only design that was in place. Is It was this vertical. I remember it was like 2014. And then eventually they came out with additional designs, which is awesome but it also makes it a little bit harder to find your ideal one. Um, I have found my happy place with my planner after a lot of trial and error. So I wish I had something like this before to be able to make a, a choice, but now it's here. So it's definitely very helpful. This is the horizontal layout for the planner. So if you don't necessarily need to see things in a vertical way or in an hourly way, you just kind of have more room to go across. You can use that one. This is the hourly. I used the hourly for a long time until I find myself needing a lot more room. And that's why the daily dual uh, works so well for me. And you can see not only the different designs, but the different colorways. So this is the neutral hourly. And then this is the compact uh, layout. This is relatively a newish layout. I believe it came out last year and it originally came out in, I think it was an eight by five and now is also available in a seven by nine layout. So you can see your the first half of the week is on this side and then the weekend on this side this one doesn't work very well for my brain uh, because i keep thinking that the week needs to continue running and then this way so i know like this one is wouldn't work for me but i know a lot of people love it too this is the new weekly layout so this is what it would look like in the colorful version really excited for this one and then this one is the daily duo in the colorful version and you have a whole week in daily so if you're curious about hey you know i might be a daily person this would be perfect for that this is the dashboard this is the new blooms design and this is the blooms design for the week of june in the vertical the neutral in the horizontal hourly in the colorful evolve and then compact looks like this is bloom as well so it's a pretty cool concept it would be so much fun to play in this in the different layouts and try it out
So definitely the sampler pack is a nice little freebie. Again, I do wish that it had been available so that you could make your decision, but I, I don't think that is totally wasted. And then you also get a set of exclusive sticky notes for EC insiders when you purchase on the 15th. Let me know if you have any additional questions of things that I may I haven't covered in the video so far, or if you have specific questions to help you make your decision for your launch day, I'm happy to answer as best as I can. Thank you guys for joining me for this video. I hope that it was helpful and I appreciate your support so much. Thanks again. And as always friends, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.